Hey guys, this is the Tech Savvy Scientist and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining what I've invested in during the operation and exactly why. This is not a video that will tell you to invest in these. This is just a video purely to tell you what I've invested in. So if you like this investment, you're free to invest, but I'm not telling you to do so. So first of all, let's take a look at what I have invested in in terms of items. So I have this little investments storage unit see what's in there so you'll see that I've invested in a lot of operation items and a lot of them are just consumer grades there are from all three collections for the controls I bought minimal wares and for the havocs and ancients I bought field tested so if I scroll down a bit there should be there yep here are ancient skins so the ancients and havocs are field tested so that's it for the consumer grades I bought like 300 250 to 300 of them in total so it's not a lot of money but you know it's not bad and then I have some mill specs and some restricted this one I bought because it was a very high float this is a point point six float cat one so it's like top 50 or top 30 highest float I just thought it was funny and then I also have some of these restricted which I traded up for and some other random skins that I either got as drops or just bought off the market because they were cheap and they had a good float. I also have a, an operation pass, just because why not. And then some stickers, and if I scroll down, then we'll see some more stickers, some more mill specs, some more industrial grades, more drops, and a bunch of more stickers, one more restricted. So this is what I invested in. Let's take a look at why. And I'm gonna cover two topics here. One is the looks of these skins in the collections, and the other one is going to be the quantity available of the collection skins. So taking a look at the Operation Shop, you of course have the three collections here. So let's see what skins there are. For the control, there's obviously the Op Fade, which is going to have a pretty high demand even after the operation ends. So I think the prices are going to go up, but there are a lot of Op Fades, so it might not go up as much, so it's not going to be Gungnir prices or anything. But I think it is definitely going to be going up because of the demand for the op fade. And if also the M4A1 is blue, pre blue phosphor also looks very good. And there will be demand for this. And of course the crime scene also looks super good. And the berries and cherries has a very good float cap. And then the male specs are kind of eh. The consumer grades and the industrial grades are also kind of eh. Now moving on to the Havoc collection. The reason I've inv invested so heavily in the Havoc collection for the consumers and the industrial grades is this guy. The Bengal Tiger, which is a 0.06 to 0.8 float cap skin. So that means it's incredibly hard to get it in Factory New. So I invested in skins that can be used to trade up for the Bengal Tiger in Factory New. But also the Deagle Night Heist is also a pretty good looking Deagle that is like double the price, nearly double the price of, of the other mill specs. So that is also a very good outcome. And then the Galil Sugar Rush is an incredibly good looking skin with potentially very good patterns. So this is also a super good Galil skin which is probably going to have some demand after the operation. The SG again has an incredibly tight float cap. It, its max float cap is 0.08. So this is again going to be a very good filler. It is going to be an expensive filler but you can get expensive stuff out of it. And you can get these with good floats pretty easily. So that's why I think there's going to be demand for the SG Hypnotic. The Glock Franklin, I don't think that's anything special. It doesn't look super good. B250 Franklin is like one buck. So I don't think there's going to be anything there. The Op Silk Tiger, I think looks pretty good. And I think there will be some demand after the operation. It doesn't look super good, so it's not going to be as good as perhaps other collections or other pings from other operation collections, but it's still going to be pretty good. And then the MAC-10 Hot Snakes. I mean, this this is a Gucci skin. I really can't say anything about this. And the AK-47 X-Ray. As much as I like it and want to say that I can see it going up in price, I really can't see it going much higher in price because it is a pretty, pretty bad skin for a Covert. But because of the numbers, I think this is still going to increase at least a little bit and then for the ancient collection the consumer grades are again nothing special same thing with the industrial grades except the cz auto 
which has a very tight float range. So it's again perfect for trade ups, for low float trade ups, especially. In fact, I bought a bunch of ancient uh, CZs with super low floats, like double low floats, just for the purpose of doing trade ups. And then for the millispec skins, the Aga Carved Jade has two things going for it. One, the looks, it looks pretty good, it looks like an emerald knife. And two, it again has a pretty tight float cap. So if you if you start from consumer grades, let's say the Nova R machine, which has a pretty tight flow cap as well, then go to CZ Auto Silver, and then trade up to a Aug Carved Jade, and then trade up to something like the USP Ancient Visions, and then trade up to Panthera Anka. The Panthera Anka will have like a triple low, if not an even lower float. So this collection is very good to get low floats. That's the same thing with the control collection. If you start with the MP9 R machine, then trade up to the Mag 7 Carbon Fiber, then trade up to one of the male specs, it doesn't matter because the float ranges on, aren't too good, then trade up to a 5-7 Berries and Cherries, then trade up to a Blue Phosphor, then trade up to the, to the Op Fade. The Op Fade is going to have like 5 zeros in the float. So these trade ups are good for low, these collections are very good for low float trade ups. So I think all three collections have a pretty good chance of rising in price over the next few months or years. So that's it for the aspect of looks. Now let's jump over to float.db and see how many there are compared to other operation collections. So we're over here on float.db, which is a very good database to look for skins. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. And what we can do is specify an item name. Let's say the dual dual berettas heist which is from the havoc collection and it's a consumer grade and we're just going to leave the float range as is and not specify anything else so this is going to spit out every single dual berettas heist in public inventories so you can see that there are about 180,000 of them and this is true for all of the consumer grade skins i've checked i just don't want to waste your time if i check out the norse collection which for example is a FAMAS Knight Boar. Again, this is consumer grade, it's nothing special, it's every single FAMAS Knight Boar, boar that was ever dropped. There is 565,000. So that's about three times the amount of FAMAS Knight Boars. And it's not that there are a lot more consumer grade skins in the Havoc collection. Let's see how many there are. There is one, two, three, four, five consumer grades in the Havoc collection. And for the Norse collection, Norse collection, there it is. For the Norse co collection, there are one, two, three, four, five as well. So that means that the numbers of the FAMAS Night Boar and the numbers for the Dual Beretta's Heist is comparable. So there should be about three times as many Norse skins than Havoc skins. Now one other thing to note is, as far as I'm, I know, Float.db doesn't take into consideration items that were traded up, but this doesn't matter because consumer grade skins can only be dropped from the operation. So there is no way to get these consumer grade skins from a different source. So these this number is the no total number, well the approximate total number, of dual Ber or FAMAS Night Boars that were ever dropped. So the skins that are already traded up weren't deducted from this number. So this is just simply the total number that was ever dropped. So there are three times as many Norse skins as Havoc skins. Now let's take a look at Ancient and Control as well. So SG Lush Ruins. So again, there's only about 150,000 of the Lush Ruins compared to about 550 for the Norse. So that's like three and a half times more Norse than ancient let's check out the control so if i type in aug surveillance there are going to be more control skins because the op fade was opened a lot more but there there is say about seven hundred thousand, which is a little more than what the norse collection had and that is simply because the op fade exists so because the op fade was in this collection 
people opened the control collection a lot more than the havoc in the ancient collection that is why there are so much more consumer grades from the control collection than from any of the other two collections so you can see that there are three times as many more skins as there are havoc and ancient and this is the main reason why i invested it's because the numbers are extremely low so what happened here is probably most of the people who use their stars bought like broken fan cases or stickers to get out most of their money but they didn't want to risk it risk it on the skins so that's why the numbers of the havoc in ancient collection are super super low and it's basic economic demand and low supply means that the prices are gonna go up and let's see why I bought consumer grades mostly so counter-strike global offensive and let's check out the Norse skins first because those were the that was the collection I based my predictions on and let's go field tested because I bought field tested consumer grade sort by price so the FAMAS night is the cheapest let's do lifetime so during the operation these skins sold for about well they started at around four cents jumped up to five six seven eight nine so let's say you bought for eight cents in about March now it's worth about half a euro that's over a five times return on your investment that is crazy and this is a collection that has three times as many skins as the havoc and ancient collections so let's check out the havoc collection they are pretty cheap at this moment because they are still dropping they are nine cents each but the price already did go up to like 10 but if i check out lifetime they went for four or five cents now i was a little late and buy orders were kind of slow so i think i bought for a combination of six cents and seven cents which is you know it's still pretty good because uh, the Norse skin went up to 50 cents in about a year and there were there are three times as many so imagine how high this is gonna go now of course the demand is not as high as the Norse skin but I think it's because of the quantity I think it's still gonna be a really really good investment so this is what I invested in and why I hope you enjoyed this video if you think it's worth investing in these items then you will you are free to do so but again i am not encouraging anyone to do so because investments are risky they are not free money so just always take that into consideration but with that being said this was the tech savvy scientist i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one